But we do start this half hour really with great news for the family of that young woman who went missing following phone calls to say she was stopping along the highway to help a toddler she'd spotted. Police say Carly Russell is back home this morning and ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on what we know right now. Morgan, this case was unbelievable. So many people wondering what happened to her. Yeah, good morning. Lots of questions, right? And you can imagine the shock, even relief from her family this morning. Police said Carly Russell returned home overnight and was taken to the hospital for evaluation. And though she is safe, the mystery surrounding her disappearance, it deepens as police work to determine where she was for those two days and what happened. This morning, after a frantic 48-hour search, police now say 25-year-old Carlethia Carly Russell has been found. The Hoover Police Department says Carly had been taken to a local hospital overnight for evaluation. According to reports, Russell showed up at her family's front door. This news coming on the heels of an exhaustive statewide search that rocked this community. Detectives in Hoover, Alabama, fanning out across the city. Flyers are nearly every corner as her parents, Talitha and Carlos Russell, pleaded for the safe return of their daughter, missing since Thursday night. We were able to sit down with Carly's parents before she was found, where they told us about their grueling search for their missing daughter. It's a struggle as sometimes you're numb, as sometimes the tears just flow. We probably have had two hours of sleep in the past two days. Carly's parents say they last spoke with her around 920 Thursday night when she called to let them know she was headed home from work. Well, 10 minutes later, Hoover police say she called 911 around 930 to report seeing a toddler walking alone on the side of Interstate 459. Soon after, Carly makes another phone call, this time to her brother's girlfriend, who told Carly's mother she overheard Carly trying to help the child. She was asking the child if they were OK from what my son's girlfriend could hear on the phone. She never heard a child say anything and she heard my daughter scream or what sounded like a scream. Carly's parents say they were able to track her location, but it pinged to a street behind I-459. When police went to the spot along the highway where Carly called 911, they say they found Carly's car with the door open, her keys, cell phone, hat, and wig all nearby, but no signs of Carly or the toddler. As part of their investigation, police say they're now looking into this video from the traffic cam archive, appearing to show the moment a car pulls over on the side of the road. Over the weekend, the community throwing their support behind the Russell family, from prayer vigils to search parties, even celebrities rallying for Carly's safe return. Words can't really describe how it feels to know that the community really has our back. And millions this morning continue to rally behind the family, joining them in that relief that Carly has been found. This morning, though, it is unclear how Carly returned home, but police do say that she was alone. Gio? Lots of questions, but all of us are glad, of course, that she is safe. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.